Hello and welcome to new module. Within this module, we are going to learn more about designing a computing solutions. In the previous lecture, we talked about designing your governance solutions. Now it's time for us to learn more about designing a computing solutions. So this is going to be more about an introduction within this uh, lecture. Uh, we are going to do some kind of introduction for this section itself. So within this section, uh, which is uh, we call it as a module 2 for designing a computing solution. It needs some kind of a pre-request. To understand better, it need, you need to have some of the pre-requests to complete this section. In case if you lack of these skills, please uh, learn it and come back here to learn great designing concepts uh, for your computing solutions. So the pre-requests are conceptual knowledge on Azure computing solutions and working experience with your Azure virtual machines containers and application services or app services platforms coming back to this uh, computing solutions we are going to learn about uh, how to choose what computing services because computing uh, services are defined in a different uh, number of services or offered by microsoft azure cloud and out of it you know what kind of a you know, compute service you need to choose and also there are uh, as we just now told uh, the computing services if you could you know maybe just choose the virtual machines as a solution for your design but you need to follow some kind of you know workflow of whether your applications or your customer is really need need to go for a virtual machines or maybe a batch solution or a functional uh, functions as your solutions or maybe serverless uh, solutions or maybe logical apps or container or app services solution or Kubernetes services aks so we need to know what uh, service we need to propose for our application so you you are going to learn within this section completely about what is the right solution what is the right design you could offer for your customer uh, in order to save the cost and offer a great performance for your customer that's what we're going to learn within this lecture Again, within this lecture, um, definitely if you are writing uh, Azure 305 exam and you are going to cover 25 to 30 percent of the questions uh, in terms of the recommendation questions, you might, you know, get it here like appropriate size of your virtual machines or maybe workload types or container based recommendation or serverless computing or virtual machine based computing solutions. We are going to ask in the AZ305 exam which is gonna cover 25 to 30 percentage of the questions and when it comes to the types of computing services you could uh, look at here we have total eight different type of services we have here starting with virtual machines uh, which falls under infrastructure as a service we're gonna learn all of these things in deep drive uh, how to design or when to choose this services definitely within this module that is what this module covers or that is what this section covers for us and uh, let's let's try to understand here in a one word virtual machine specific and azure batch uh, so it's going to manage your large scale of parallel application or parallel uh, running applications or the tasks that you want to you know run it on a high performance computing so, uh, applications so that's where you can use the azure batch uh, which falls under a pass we're going to deep drive all of these stuff in a upcoming lectures within this section and azure functions which is a serverless uh, it just works on a your code so the code will run on azure servers for that service you're not going to pay it but you're going to pay it for the running time so that's a service called uh, azure functions which is a FAS we also called and Azure logic apps uh, which falls under a platform as a service uh, whereas uh, if something happens then the logic comes into a picture to you know start something else let's say a customer placed an order and you need to use the Azure logic apps to you know maybe trigger some kind of SMS or email such kind of logical apps uh, can be you know, triggered for automating your workflows and the container instance uh, which is a fast and simple way this is a modern uh, modern uh, services which we are actually putting on the containers instances um, this gives you a fast and very simple way to run your containers within microsoft azure so you don't uh, 
provision any virtual machines and stuff that you can you know uh, run the entire applications or entire uh, packages from that container and for that you don't need a higher level of virtual machine so you could re reduce a lot of cost and easy maintenance and easily move or migrate and great performance can be offered for your customers or for your applications and coming back to the app services uh, which is well known these days uh, Microsoft offers the web-based applications uh, also the application services which uh, manages your hosting for your web application mobile applications or, or its back-end connectivity with respect to the uh, restful APIs or automated business process you could actually host in a Microsoft Azure cloud that falls into app services and Azure Kubernetes services uh, is again falls under past services uh, it's purely based on a Kubernetes uh, service which is again offered from Microsoft Azure cloud and Azure service fabric is a it's basically a distributed system platform that makes easy uh, for you to you know uh, for the, or deploy your packages and manage the scalable or reliable microservices or such as you know, can be deployed from Azure service fabric so these are the things that we are going to deep dive within this lecture within this upcoming uh, lectures where we are going to deep dive all of these and we will uh, come to know you know when to choose what uh, what computing service or what compute solution should be chosen based on our tailwinds corporation or whatever the logics we're going to apply based on a real uh, simulator company thank you for watching this this uh, this is just an introduction we will catch from the next lecture on a azure virtual machines thank you